What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over the best investments to make yourself potentially up to a million stubs during the roster update. If you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, help the algorithm, and turn your notifications on. Let's get into today's breakdown. If you want to complete every collection super, super fast, head over to my sponsor and use code FAT for 5% off your order. Super fast and reliable. All right, so right now, investments are very, very crucial if you want to walk away with a lot of stubs. As you can see, Willie Adams was supercharged last night, and if you invested in him, it's important for you to have your notifications on, pay attention to this channel, and be one of the earliest people at each and every video. So let's go over important investments over the next two roster updates that's going to give you the most profit and the best chance to make tons and tons of stubs. Starting off with 81 overall, Tim Anderson. Inside edge, playing up to an 84 overall. He's batting the 288, right under the 300 range with two home runs and six RBIs. Going for under 800 stubs. That's the important part of this. You can get him for under eight, hundred stubs meaning that if he gets at least a plus two on this roster update he will be a few great games from going to diamond on the next roster update the diamond quick sale is three thousand stubs that's going to give you 2200 stubs on each and every investment that's what this game is all about. You have the supercharged performers and then you have the roster updates. Who has the chance to give you the most stubs for the lowest value? The next card we're gonna go over is 77 overall Jazz Chisholm. Inside edge, he's playing up to a 81 overall. That means that a plus four overall boost. 1,408 stubs you can get them for right now i already had put him out a few videos ago and he's still playing just as good so i can expect for him to become a goal this roster update and if he doesn't get injured if he stays healthy he will be a diamond sooner or later i have about 15 of these right now after the roster update certain cards like this make sure that you go get them when they drop down in value and try to get as many as possible at that point or you can use my exchange method that i told you about and get a lot of these for super super cheap now another card that i was telling you about a few videos ago was nick castellanos and he's still performing just as good as i said a few videos ago i got this card when he was around the 580 to 600 range now he's at 82 inside edge playing up to an 85 overall he should be diamond sometime in the next two roster updates i can see him getting a plus two right now and then he's only going to need a plus one to go diamond that right there will turn into a 3000 quick sell but you guys who are just watching the video still give yourself an opportunity to make over two thousand stubs with each investment on this 82 overall nick castellanos nick castellanos is betting a 313 with three bombs and 10 rbis so far jazz chisholm was at a 286 with four home runs and 15 rbis so he's in the top three hitters right now in the mlb and then he's in the top three in rbis that's runs bet it in another card that is worth getting right now and then holding on to is this CJ crying? I can see him going gold on this roster update for 1,000 stubs. Has the potential to go diamond in the next two updates. So probably a plus two in the next 48 hours. And then he will only need a plus three to go diamond. Still has 2,000 stub potential in him. But if you wait till he goes gold, if he falls off one or two games, his price will go down a little bit. You can buy him for a little bit cheaper or you can pre-put orders in. You see 1,032, go ahead, put them in for 1,005 stubs. Eventually, all them buy orders will go through and you will be able to get him for super, super cheap. Now, some other investments is Cody Bellinger. 
We have Joe Musgrove who's playing lights out. Make sure that you do invest in Joe Musgrove. He's on the diamond watch. You have Nathaniel Lowe. He's a lower card. Over the next three roster updates, I will see him over a gold. He's like a bronze right now. He should be silver. By the time this roster update comes, he will need a plus three or plus four in the next two roster updates. And if he keeps batting and stays healthy, he will eventually become either a high gold or a 85 overall. You also have Nestor Cortez Jr. And you also have Amber Limber, another pitcher. So Nestor Cortez Jr., Amber Limber, and Joe Musgrove are the three must investment pitcher. I will go more in depth on the next videos. Make sure that you drop a thumbs up. Help with the algorithm. Go in the comment section right now. Let me know what is your best pool so far in MLB The Show 22 and how are you enjoying it? Big blessings.